Hello fiber friends, welcome to KB Fibers. Wow, um, <laughs> I took the weekend off. So this weekly video is for September 16th through the 22nd. I'm trying to make sure I got everything straight. Anyway, the first thing I finished this week was, yep, yeah, you guessed it, another emotional support chicken. This one here, I used Yarn Inspirations Burnett Wavelength Yarn. Tanzanite is the colorway. It turned out super cute. It's kind of a dark purple and dark gray. I think this one might already be claimed. We'll see on uh, tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. As today is Wednesday, so I'm quite late getting this posted, but I was out deer hunting uh, Saturday, Sunday up in Michigan, and then uh, we drove back on Monday and got the deer processed on Tuesday, yesterday. So just now getting to around to this so sorry it's late but <laughs> is what it is y'all is what it is so there we go we got the tanzanite chicken all done this is a 5.07 ounces so it took uh took the full thing this is five ounces it weighed out like 5.3 so there's just a tad left over maybe enough for the center two rounds of a granny square we'll see um but it is it does say it's five ounces and i used the full thing plus a little bit extra that was in the skein so it worked out <laughs> it worked out that's 226.12 yards of yarn in the making of the tanzanite purple chicken purple chicken all right i didn't stop there of course um one of the thursday ladies had some items that uh, she wanted we wrote she wanted the pattern for so I looked at the items like this little Santa and I didn't put a hanging string on there and this little snowman also no hanging string but I wrote out the patterns rewrote um, the patterns for those and included the pictures of the items that I made um, with that so there's those two that is 0 0.09 ounces of uh, crochet cotton thread equaling out to 13.96 yards and then I can't believe the pattern didn't call for gluing on well it didn't call for sewing on the the beads for eyes they just glued them on so I don't know about that I would definitely do it differently I wouldn't glue them on I would just embroider them on instead of using beads but that's me i wrote it and did it the way the pattern recommended so so anyway then there was also a crocheted candle that was also something that she wanted done just a cute little thing 0.19 ounces i used uh leftover bits of yarn worsted weight yarn um 9.63 ounces in the making of that the original one however had the red for the candle flame instead of yellow i think it's much cuter with the yellow <laughs> and the little holder there to hold it so anyway I got that done too and then um, on the background when I went here and there I worked on this blanket you've been seeing it in the background uh, Dana from Dana's one or less crochet would be so happy because this is the gumball blanket that she's been advertising to send to uh, a children's home um, I did get four blankets and four chickens sent there so but I did my version of a gumball this is leftover yarns uh, this is the last bit of that purple I had and then I just um, reversed the colors to finish off and I finished off with a round of half double crochet all the way around in the blue color so I, I like how it turned out it is a nice slat blanket which I did not measure <laughs> naughty me as usual not measuring everything especially the blankets let me see this is 38 and a half wide by it is longer than it is wider um and then flip over flip the right way 
38 and a half wide by 47 and a half long. 38 and a half by 47. Okay, I'll write it down too. <laughs> Just so I remember for later. Um, gumball blanket, I used uh, three quarters of leftover different colored yarns. Um, I didn't use the same color throughout in between each of the Jacob Ladder sections. Sorry, I'm rolling up my rolling up my tape measure. I'm rolling my tape measure back up. It's plastic. So anyway, um, I did different stripes. So two rows of one, one row of another, into the next section. Like this is white and light blue, and then the next section light blue and green. So green back to light blue, <laughs> light blue back to white, white back to the blue, and finishing with the blue and the blue all the way around. Um, I don't know why I chose to do it that way. That's just I'm doing with you know I'm doing things with what I have and. That's what I have. That's how it came out. It is a nice lap size blanket. So I will call it a lapkin instead of an afghan as the pattern had called it. But then again, I think the pattern was actually written to be a baby blanket. So it is kind of within the range of a baby blanket. I think the original size was supposed to be like 35 by 40. Mine's a little bit larger. Eh, it's fine. I used uh, 24.6 ounces with 1,247.47 yards of yarn in the making of that. So let me give you my yearly totals then. Um, All together this week I did 29.95 ounces and 1,497.18 yards. So my yearly totals is 527 Point forty six ounces taking me to 32.9 pounds and then 33,830.55 yards for the year with 19.2 miles completed for this year. Now that doesn't count anything I may or may not have made uh, for this week starting on uh, Monday the 23rd. Um, <laughs> Monday was drive back day like I said. Tuesday we worked on processing the deer that we got um and today we're just i don't know trying to relax and recoup <laughs> so i'm a little late on getting everything posted sorry that's husband blowing his nose it is also allergy season for a lot of people's so i got all of those things finished up for this week um, I'm still working on the Great British Sock Off. That pattern was released on Sunday. That was part four. I have not even looked at part four, let alone do part four. So that's what I'm going to be streaming on Twitch today about. So hopefully we can finish off the pumpkin socks. I'm excited about finishing those up. Um, and I also started a shawl while I was away. And yeah, we'll probably get those things hopefully finished up by the end of this week and I'll get that posted for you next week. So y'all have a great week, rest of the week. Today's Wednesday, we'll see what happens with the rest of the week. You never know around here. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>